Dear Dairy. What is the fox saying? Is that a song? I mean, I honestly have... Well, let's find out first. No. Okay, the fox doesn't say anything. So, well, when you crush him like that, um, you would think... Uh, apparently, that's some sort of song. I only just discovered that while I was watching uh, Jesse Cox play Final Fantasy <laughs> Team. I don't know what number they're up to. I think it's 14, but I'm not really sure. Um, anyway, so I was watching that, and somebody in the comments during his Twitch stream was like, Ah, what is the fox saying? I'm like, what? And somebody tweeted that to me earlier today, and I was like, I mean, I have... I didn't even know whether it was anything about a, a song or whatever. I just occasionally see people mentioning it. I'm like, what the hell is going on? So, there's plenty of videos out there to find out what foxes sound like, and they are shrieky little bastards. Um, noisy? They're cute when they're geckering. Geckering, yeah, that's... One of the things that they do is the noise that they make. It's this little chirping kind of thing that they do when they're playing or fighting or something. It's, it's, it's actually really cute. It's their their howls and their screams. Just, Jesus. Um, so let's see. I, was, I did a really short video last night because I didn't have anything to talk about. And I thought that tonight's video was going to be equally short or close to it because I don't really have anything to talk about, aside from what does the fox say? I don't know. I mean, aside from what foxes actually sound like, but whatever this song is, I don't even, I don't, I, all I know is that apparently it's a title. I don't even know if that's the title of the song. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Whatever. So, what did I do today? Well, um, went over to the bank and deposited the money that I got from dog sitting, which was great because I was getting a bit low on cash in the um, bank account and I did not want it to go into overdraft. So while I was there, I went ahead and applied for a line of credit, which when it, if I get it, when it attaches to my bank account, it basically becomes kind of almost like overdraft protection that instead of getting charged, $26 or whatever for each time, you know, a check overdraft, or for each day that my check is in overdraft. Instead, it withdraws the money from my line of credit. And then all I pay is the interest on whatever amount of money that I had taken out. So, you know, it would be practically nothing as long as I could get money in there within a you know, relatively short amount of time. Certainly cheaper than, you know, like $26 a day or whatever it is that my um, my credit union, what? My credit union, uh, charges, I don't know. I don't often have my account going to overdraft. It gets close. Oh, it gets so close sometimes, but not often. Um, anyway, so hopefully I get that. That would be cool. Could, could really use that. Um, and it'll help push my credit score up a lot further, because several of my friends have told me, if you want to really get your credit score up easily, what you do is you get a secured credit card, because what you do is you, you pay the credit card in your cash, you pay it up front, and then you take money out of it, and then you just pay money back into it. But you can't ever go into debt with it, per se, because you've already paid it. Um, anyway, uh, so, you know, you use your secured credit card, and, and then you slowly pay back into it, you know, and fill it back up again. And it brings your credit up, because it shows that you can pay off this thing. Well, my credit union doesn't do those. However, they do do lines of credit. And so, I was like, okay, fine, I'll do that. So, we'll see. Um, what else did I do? We had... Uh, Oh, I shot a housemate of mine, uh, one of my favorite Jet Li movies ever. Uh, it's an older one called uh, Fong Sayuk. I think I may have horribly mispronounced that just now. Anyway, he plays this uh, this young guy named Fong Sayuk who lives in a small town in you know uh, 
Cantonese portion of uh, China. This is when, you know, before the, the emperor is slowly gobbling up, you know, uh, everything in their magistrates all over the place. And, and the mayor, or the governor, of this town and everything are kind of in, you know, in with the emperor and slow their people are like, what are we doing? They're oppressing us. They're ruining our, our blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so he's, um, he is the second best uh, martial artist in this whole town. The best martial artist is his mother. And uh, the, the plot is entirely too complicated to really explain. Um, I'll try to sum up the beginning of it. This really rich guy who is also kind of on the side of the emperor, or at least is is from like the Mandarin section of, of, of China, has moved into town and bought up like more than half the town. And everybody thinks he's a complete prick because he's, he's just pompous, you know. And so his advisor is telling him, look, if you want to get in with the community, maybe you should have like a competition to marry your daughter. And so this guy, Tiger, uh, his name is Tiger Liu, he sets up this huge Kung Fu, you know, contraption. I mean, it's this gigantic tower with, you know, big red ribbon at the top. And whoever can get to the top and get that ribbon gets to marry his daughter. But if you touch the ground, you're out. And of course you have to fight his wife, because his wife is, you know, really, really good at Kung Fu. So she's going to be trying to knock you off the tower while you're trying to get to the top of it. Oopsie. Well, that's all I'm going to tell you about. And that is, like, a tiny portion of this huge damn story. And it's got a much more Western, not, not exclusively Western, but a, a, a much more Westernized comedic sense to it that I find very, very funny. Um, there are like three other big time old school, uh, Jet Li movies that I really like. One is called, uh, The Tai Chi Master, which I believe is also called Twin Dragons. Has both titles, depending on, you know, where it was printed, I guess. Um, and then there's the very first Jet Li movie I ever saw, which is The New Legend of Shaolin, and... He plays this kind of wandering monk, not really a monk, kind of a wandering hero. It really reminds me of Lone Wolf and Cub in a lot of ways, because it's him and his son, and both of them incredible martial artists. That's one of the things I really like about these movies, is that the, 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 you, know, you got really the, the classic old school kung fu wire work and everything, it's just it's really, really good. So, Fong Sayuk, uh, The New Legend of Shaolin, Tai Chi Master, and I believe the title is Once Upon a Time in China and America. I think that's the fourth one. And um, I don't remember that much of that one. I'll have to, but that, those were the first four that I ever saw. And then I think I watched The One with Jet Li right after that. So that was the first American movie I saw him. Anyway, um, so yeah, those are good, good films. And then course, watching Jesse play Final Fantasy for the team. Um, so I was going to tell a story. This is going to be like, you know, okay, this is Uncle Trend's, you know, story time. And I realized that I can't, can't really think of anything right now. I, because a couple of, I mean, back before I started doing the, the Dear Dairies, I had, there's another video up back in the, in the, in the dim times there where I was talking about when I met Majel Barrett and what it was like to meet her at a Star Trek convention when I was stationed in Hawaii. I was also thinking, you know, I could tell a story about when I was assigned as Michael Dorn's security escort at a, you know, convention in San Antonio, or not in San Antonio, in Austin. It's, uh, it's really not that funny. Um, it's like, okay, well, what? What story can I tell? And I, the more I thought about it, I've got all these stories, and I'm, no, that was boring and stuff. I don't want to tell it. I could, no, I don't want to shake it. Oh, I could, no, back and forth. I mean, just, ugh. I fancy myself a bit of a storyteller, and I can't think of anything right now. 
Um, the only thing that keeps coming to mind, and it's just because it's frustrating. I mean, I know that YouTube is not the most predictable um, way to, you know, it, making your channel famous is very, very difficult. And there is no way, there's no, there's no formula for it. If there was, everybody would be doing it. But when you've got close to 900 followers on Twitter, okay, close to 900 followers, and you sent out a tweet saying, hey, um, could you guys do me a favor? I want to get my subscription numbers in. Could you guys just go over there and click? Now, here's the link. Just go click the subscribe button. For me. That's all you got to do. I think I was at 92. No. I was at 72. Sorry. Wow. Okay. The number's inflated in my head. Um, I was at 72 subscribers when I sent that tweet like two days ago, I think. Almost 900 subscribers, like 889 or 890 followers on Twitter. And I got four. Four! What the hell are you people doing? <laughs> You know, I mean, really, why am I saying what the hell are you people doing? You guys either are the followers who click the damn button or you're people who you know, subscribe to this channel because of other things. I don't know. The, um, the, the video that I put up the other day for the, the Elder Scrolls Online emote contest, I think it's almost up to 200 or so, like 150 or so views right, in two days. Not bad. My dear dairies, I'm lucky if they pass 20 or 30 views each one. What the hell am I doing? What am I doing wrong? I don't understand. I know that vlogs are not that exciting. So clearly, obviously, what I need to do is I need to find something else. Something else. Not, not that I would stop doing my vlogs. I actually find them quite enjoyable to do. But um, I need to find something else to do with this channel. And the... The WoW audiobooks and the Skyrim audiobooks and stuff like that. I will resume doing those once I get my... Because this audio level, not good enough. This is my webcam microphone. And everything works with my, my studio mic up until the point that it gets to my, my preamp. When it gets to my preamp, if I have my preamp actually plugged into the computer, the, the VU, whatever VU stands for, um, it just sits there and lighting up like there's some kind of signal going through and when I try to record it it's just gonna I'm like okay that's not right it's entirely possible that my my preamp is breaking down I mean the thing's probably pretty old I bought it off eBay it's entirely possible that it's busted and I just don't didn't, didn't find out about it until now very possible <sighs> we'll see something so I'm not going to stop doing the audiobooks, not at all. They're only on pause because I don't have a way to really record with good quality right now because the environment is a bit noisy. You can hear my, my computer, my housemates, because they're up at all hours of the day. There, there, there is no quiet time in this house. Um, it's, eh, you know. Anyway, so... I need to find something else, but I'm not very good at video games. I mean, what I could do, what I could do, but then I wouldn't be able to monetize the video. I was going to say, I could do um, gameplay, or, or, or I could redo my, my WoW 2 series that I did way back when, back before Cataclysm came out. I did a WoW 2 series because I knew Cataclysm was coming up, and we were going to get a whole new influx of brand new players who had never played anything like WoW before. And so I created a, a, a how-to series to explain, here's what the UI is. These are the different elements and components. If you've never watched the series, it's there. You can go and watch it. Um, I mean, I could redo that now that Cataclysm is over and the Mists of Pandaria is out and, and there's nothing upcoming. I mean, I could, I could effectively redo it with, uh, with what I've got, but... I don't know if I'd be able to, again, I'd be stuck in the same situation. I don't think I'd be able to monetize those videos because I don't have written consent from Blizzard to do so, which I'm still waiting for. Um, so 
I've got to find something, something that I can perform that will make money. Well, that I can monetize a video or something. Something. I don't know. <sighs> we'll see. Whatever. Oh. Okay. I'm, wow, 15 and a half minutes of talking about nothing. Well, not nothing, but I mean, when I started this, I didn't think I had anything to talk about. So, all right, well, there we go. So if you've got friends out there who are on the YouTubes here, tell them to come over here and click the subscribe button. Is it over here? Or is it over here? I think it's over here. Um, like, subscribe, comment, all that shit. Do it. Do it immediately. My, my number's up. Spread the word. Spread it like a plague. And until you spread it like a plague, or even while you're spreading it like a plague, and after you spread it like a plague, whatever. Or spread it like a fox, whatever. I don't, I don't know. Just, just be careless.